Once upon a time, Albert Einstein, one of the world's greatest geniuses, was talked about not only for his scientific achievements, but also for the secrets after his death. What happened after Einstein's death remained a mystery in the scientific world. On April 18, 1955, Albert Einstein died at Princeton Hospital. That night, the hospital corridors were silent. But this silence, Dr. He broke down in the morgue where Thomas Stoltz Harvey entered to examine Einstein's body. Harvey decided to unravel the secret of this great genius's intelligence by removing Einstein's brain. However, this procedure was done without permission from Einstein's family. Harvey divided Einstein's brain into 240 pieces and sent them to scientists around the world. These pieces were examined in different laboratories to unravel the secrets of Einstein's brain. However, most of the research done on the brain was kept secret for a long time and was known only to a certain group of scientists. Years later, in 1978, journalist Stephen Levy discovered that Harvey still kept pieces of Einstein's brain. This discovery caused a sensation and revived interest in Einstein's brain. Some parts of the brain contained more glial cells than the normal human brain, and some areas of the parietal lobe were unusually dense. Although these findings gave some clues about the biological basis of Einstein's extraordinary intelligence, they did not provide a definitive explanation. Einstein's brain became a legend over time. Parts of the brain began to be exhibited in museums in different countries, and these pieces turned into objects that visitors looked at with great admiration. These studies of Einstein's brain inspired scientists' efforts to understand human intelligence and creativity. This mysterious story shows how Albert Einstein made a huge impact on the world of science, not only during his lifetime, but even after his death. These mysterious studies on Einstein's brain prove once again how deep and permanent his legacy is.